Mass Rad Show here coming to you live from downtown St. Paul, Minnesota. Hanging out by the Mississippi River again here. Behind me is something that you would never know existed if you're just driving by. You would never know it was here. There's this amazing statue inside this building, inside the Ramsey County Courthouse. It's one of the world's largest, it is the world's largest. It's the world's largest onyx statue. Onyx is a stone. I believe the onyx that they used to make this statue was taken from Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. But inside this building here, the Ramsey County Courthouse, is this amazing statue. It's been there since the 1930s, I believe. This thing is, is like three stories tall, and it weighs like something like 60 tons, erected in the spirit of peace. Um, it's in a memorial hall, and around all of the hall is uh, names of people from this county, Ramsey County, who have given their lives in World War II, um, I believe the Korean War, and I believe the Vietnam War. World's largest Indian, it's, 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 a, it's an Indian smoking a peace pipe, um, and these Indians are, are, I believe, that there's like some chief Indians, Native Americans, uh, having like a, a peace pipe ceremony, and out of their smoke is coming this huge statue, this vision of peace. I'm not going to film walking in because, um, well, they've got security and stuff in there, so I got to go through security, I got to put my camera away, go through security. Right inside this building here, you would never know. Right inside this building, there's this amazing statue, world's largest onyx statue, vision of peace. Thanks for watching this episode of Matt's Show. Let's get in there and check this thing out. Okay, we are through security now. They're nice enough to let me film in here. And I am standing before this amazing statue. This is crazy, this is incredible. It's three stories tall, 38 feet tall, 60 tons. This thing is amazing. I feel like I'm in like an old Egyptian palace. This thing is amazing. I'll turn around and show you this thing. Look at this. There's just the base of it. it goes all the way up there. This thing is incredible. Let's take a look at this. It's actually on a motor and it rotates like 132 degrees back and forth over the course of like two and a half hours. But just standing here, you wouldn't even notice that it's rotating. But it does rotate. I believe it was put up in the 30s. It was originally called um, the Indian God of Peace, um, but it's since been, it's since been retitled the Indian uh, vision of peace, vision of peace, because um, that 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 relates more to the Native Americans' uh, spiritual beliefs, having a, a vision of peace rather than a god of peace. And it depicts, I think, five chiefs, um, and they're having a ceremony, a peace ceremony. They're smoking their peace pipes, I think, and out of the smoke of their peace pipes is rising this gigantic Indian of peace. Um, he's the Indian has a a big peace pipe. Part of his peace pipe there. He's got a big old peace pipe in his hands. Big old peace pipe. And it's in this memorial, this, this whole hallway is like a, a war memorial hallway. It's a um, memorial hall for anybody in Ramsey County, all of the soldiers and veterans of different wars and stuff that have lost their lives. Their names are inscribed on the different tablets in this whole area here. So. Um, and that they've added over the years for the different wars. Indeed, this vision of peace statue kind of stands here as a symbol of peace, as a symbol of if we all come together and if we, you know, talk and, and learn about each other and, and come together basically, that's the whole idea of them coming together and smoking their peace pipe and saying, let's talk through this and bring peace. Um, so yeah, it's the Indian 
vision of peace and you can barely tell that it's moving. I think it's so amazing that it moves back and forth and you wouldn't even notice it, but it is moving. 60 tons of onyx. So it's definitely the largest Indian onyx statue in the entire world. Different blocks of onyx they used and the different sculptors uh, sculpted into it. The original artist design out of the different blocks of onyx. It's absolutely incredible. You, and you, it's so crazy because you wouldn't even know that it was in here in, in the Ramsey County Courthouse. You just wouldn't even know that it's in here, sitting here. World's largest Indian vision of peace onyx statue. <laughs> it's really neat. And I'm gonna show you too, around the, the lobby here too are some different statues that they that were proposed. They weren't sure which one to use. They used a, they had a, a few different ideas of what statue to build here. And they, they ended up going with the, the Native American Vision of Peace statue. But there's a few others. Um, I think St. Paul was one of them and some other ideas, but this one was the one that, that won it out. And I, th I think it's really cool. It's actually really amazing. So I'm just gonna film a little bit of it here and a little bit more of it here and maybe, uh, Maybe someday we'll have peace in this world. Maybe. This thing is amazing though. Okay, here's St. Paul. This was one of the statues that they thought about making. So St. Paul. Paul out of the Bible. The, the Apostle Paul, basically. And this is here in Mississippi, Father of Waters. They thought about using him too. Look at his face. I think his face is kind of cool. It looks a little mischievous. <laughs> so that was, an, that was a possible one too. Imagine that guy being 38 feet tall. And then uh, St. Paul here. That was a, an option as well. And I'm guessing on the other side, there's two, two, yep, there they are. There's two others on the other side. Here they are. So this is Doughboy? Doughboy. This was another one, Doughboy, which is kind of interesting. I'm guessing had something to do with uh, wheat and making bread, I'm guessing. I'm not sure though. And then this is the one that they actually went with. The left-handed God of Peace, it says. So you can tell that's the statue that they actually made. So they, they went off of this and then they they created this out of a bunch of different huge blocks of onyx out of Mexico, I guess. So here's the size of the original. Here's the size of the one that they created. You walk in and it's just like, what is this? And you just look at it and it's like, oh my gosh. This is a huge statue. And it's in this amazing hallway. Memorial Hallway. So cool. Oh, look, there I am. Zoom in. There I'm in the ceiling. Hi. <laughs> That's cool. This is the reason why it rotates, is so you can see the back. There's stuff inscribed on the back of his headdress. Going all the way up. Sorry, I try to hold my camera steady here for you. So you can see the back of him. Oh, I can't get over the size of this thing. And it's all onyx. That's what's so crazy about it, this beautiful stone. I mean, look how pretty. There's the, you can see the, the motor is moving. There's where they turn on the motor, I guess. Okay, I'm up on the second floor now. And on the second floor are more names inscribed on all the walls of soldiers that were 
killed in different wars. And you can get a different perspective, either different perspective of the Indian statue from up here. So let's take a look from up here. I feel like it's something out of National Treasure or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's just this feeling of like, oh my goodness. Like ancient Egypt kind of, Old Testament kind of statue kind of stuff. I wonder if we can go up even higher. Let's see. Let's see if we can go up one more flight of stairs. Stairs here. This is fun. It's like a national treasure. Here we go. Nice. Oh, nice. We're like, we're like level with it now. We're up here. Here's the head of the statue right here. Now we're up here. Now you can kind of see them from up here. It's so bright that like I have to adjust my aperture because he shines so much light off of him. Vision of peace. Look at this peace pipe in his left hand. And extending the hand of peace with his right hand. I bet there's something significant with that, but I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know if there is or not. This is so cool. It's so cool that they're letting me film in here too, because it's like a county courthouse, so it's just cool that they're letting me film. He's so massive. I just noticed something too. As you're walking here, you can see his, out of the marble here, you can see his, <laughs> see his uh, reflection is over there. You see his reflection in the marble. So he's like looking at you. It's from like all different angles. Uh, here we are on the other side. to grab focus on because he's so bright. So much contrast between him and the lower level lighting in the building. This is cool too. They got Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A bust of, well, a head of, of him up here. Martin Luther King. Live the dream. Let freedom reign. Let freedom reign. Amen, man. Enough war already. Enough fighting already. Enough, you know? I've got nothing but respect for our men and women who protect us in the armed services, but I'm getting awful tired of all this war. This is cool. This is the bell from the USS St. Paul, which was the first, one of the first uh, warships that fired shots in World War II at Pearl Harbor that sunk one of the enemy's uh, ships. Interesting placard you can read. And here's all the men that served on her. My grandpa was on a destroyer in World War II. Copy of the Declaration of Independence. Pretty cool. We the people, the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, and ensure domestic tranquility. The penmanship is so amazing. So let me try to focus on look at, that. Look at the penmanship. How they wrote. It's incredible. Look 
got Councilman Bill Wilson on this side, known for saying, govern with humility. Something I don't see a whole lot of in politics anymore is humility. We could use a lot more of it though. I don't want to get political on you guys now. <laughs> we'll just stick to the world's largest peace statue. Well, let's go back down and get some, a few final closing shots. And Now that we're back downstairs, you can kind of tell it's rotated a bit. I think it's now kind of facing a little bit more towards the left. Well, my left, his right. Okay guys, well that about wraps it up for this episode, world's largest onyx statue. Um, if you're ever in uh, St. Paul, come to the um, Ramsey County Courthouse and you can see it for yourself. Um, yeah, I think it's worth seeing. It gives you kind of a, a feeling of peace in a way. It's sitting here. So if you are a veteran, if you have been in the armed services in any way, shape or form, if you've given of yourself in service to protect us, protect our country, thank you. Honestly, thank you for doing that. You are amazing people who do that. Um, and let there be peace. <laughs> let there be peace. If not my lifetime, hopefully somebody's lifetime. Let there be peace. But peace is something you have within yourself as well. So if the world's not at peace, know that you can always have peace within yourself too. Places like this kind of remind you of that. This vision of peace. You can have this anytime you want. Anyway, don't mean to get too intellectual there. I don't know if that was even intellectual. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. That's all I got for today. Thanks, guys. I'm going to hang out here a little bit more and just kind of take it in. But until next time, I'll check you later. That's right, Joe. Okay, bye. Hey, what should I do? Wait. Hey, sign, what do I need to lose? Wait. <laughs> what do I use when I go to the gym to lift? Wait. <laughs> uh, what else? Wait.